Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. And King of Floors, your vinyl, laminate, and engineered flooring superstore. It is Monday, and all of our guests today are sponsored by Basant Motors, your trusted pre-owned car dealer for nearly 30 years. Check them out online at BasantMotors.com and follow them on Twitter at Basant Motors. John Rahm winning the 2021 U.S. Open uh, at Torrey Pines, and here to talk about it from Predator Ridge. Man, it must be beautiful up there right now. Oh. Rick, is uh, Richard Sokol. Richard, how are you, sir? I'm good, guys. Good to be with you. Yeah, it's getting it's getting summer. It's getting hot up here. It is what you think it is it's fantastic yep beautiful uh john rom was fantastic uh yesterday what did he show you all week at tory pines wow we are seeing a different john rom and uh it's quite the fantastic story when you look back at last week at memorial when he mm -hmm. had a six shot lead after three rounds going into it and then they had to um invite him to withdraw <laughs> after yeah. pos uh, testing positive for covid and uh you know, what we're seeing is a far more mature player. And, uh, you know, the past few years we've watched him. His, his, his shortcomings were his, um, his emotional immaturity, his mm -hmm. anger. And now this guy is a different person, and it's all about because he's a new father. And he says openly that he wants to be responsible uh, and, a, and a role model, model for his son. So... He has just gone to the next level, and uh, and it's all based about his mindset, which is new and improved. It's 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 just a great story. Uh, Dick, you touched on this, but what does it tell you about his mental makeup, especially his mental makeup uh, right now? There seems to be an alteration, as you just talked about, that he was able to recover from that, uh, I guess what call it devastation at the memorial. Well, all these things, it doesn't matter if you're John Rahm um, uh, and you, you get dealt with these adversity or, McK you know, Mackenzie Hughes. Tom Watson in 1974, after he blew the 54-hole lead of the U.S. Open at Wingfoot, he was labeled a choker. Uh, uh, Nick Faldo was labeled El Foldo. So these ad adverse situations, champions learn from them and they become better. Uh, they don't they don't sit there and wallow in their misery. They they look at how they can improve. And we have just watched John Rahm decide to have to be a better person, to be a more responsible person. I wonder if Brooks Kepka is listening uh, and th that has enabled him to get to that next level. And it's just it's wonderful to watch. Uh, Dick, uh, I have to be honest with you. Uh, so you got Mackenzie Hughes, uh, co-leader after three rounds on Saturday. And all I'm thinking about is Mike Weir, Masters win in 2003. So excited, a Canadian's in the lead. Um, how did you feel when he had that lead on Saturday night, Dick? Well, keep in mind, Rick, is that before Mike Weir handled so well that Masters win, he yeah. also had was in the final group with Tiger Woods in 1999 at the major. PGA he shot Championship. 80. Yeah. The PGA Championship. He shot yeah. 80. Yeah. So these are the norms. Yeah. And, 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 and this is just, the, you know, Mike Weir is just another example. So um, we were all hoping McK uh, McKenzie was going to perform well. It wouldn't have been surprising if, if he did because he, he shows that type of grit. But what the chances are is that he's going to have to, um, you know, go through, run that gauntlet. In all chances, he's going to have to get his nose bloodied. It did, and it knocked him down. But um, what I see is this is the same as Mike Weir's 1999 PGA final round, and he's going to learn from it. It's going to make him a better player. It's going to make him a more tougher person and better suited when he's in that position in the, uh, in the future. And I love what he said. He said, it wasn't my day, but I'm going to learn from it. Uh, Bryson yeah. DeChambeau, defending champ. He's tied for the lead after six holes. Bogey's on 11 and 12. The previous 30 holes, no <clears throat> bogeys. Eight over on the back nine. Uh, I didn't expect that, Dick, that uh, blow up on the back nine for uh, Bryson. What happened to him? Well, you know, and, and again, we're, I'm going to point to his mindset because when Bryson got on the ninth, on the ninth hole, I'm going, oh, my God, this guy's going to win back-to-back -back U.S. Yep. Opens. It yep. totally looked like it was his, you know, the way he was playing. 
But, you know, we're seeing a different mindset in this person as well, because a couple of years ago, we watched him do a meltdown on the driving range at the at the uh, at the Open Championship. He was losing his marbles on the on the, on, the, on the driving range, wasn't even in the in the tournament. And now and I loved his answer. Someone said, you know, what are you going to take of this? And he goes, I've already won this tournament. So he's, yeah. he's freed himself up from his mindset. So that's another impressive direction um, that Bryson DeChambeau has shown in, in when he just, you know, absolutely blew up. So I'm impressed with him um, you know, to a large degree. Dick, you remember a couple of years ago when I asked you if you've ever, ever had a hole in one and everybody yes. made fun of me and I thought I still to this day think it was a yes. legitimate uh, question with Mackenzie Hughes in mind. Have you ever had a golf ball end up in a tree? Oh yeah, that happens a lot more often than a, than and then hole in one. <laughs> could you just say <laughs> could you just say no to help me out here? I'm all for two. It's too easy. It's too easy, Donnie. So particularly palm trees, those palms, you know, those balls. Yeah. Always, anytime your ball's heading to a palm tree, you go, oh, my God, because they're, they're so thick. It just takes the energy out of the ball that's flying through it, and then it, it drops straight down, and they get caught in those palm trees so easy. Mackenzie's yesterday in that type of a tree, they don't typically mm. stay up there at all. So that was, that was a real go. bad break uh, for him after a real bad shot. But uh, – that was, um, you know, we can't let you off the hook like that, Donnie. Okay, we got back to McKenzie. Let's just move on here. Uh, we got okay. back to McKenzie. <laughs> back to John Rom. In terms of yep. pure golf, we talked. You talked about uh, what's going on mentally for him. What yep. do you like about his game physically? Well, he's got the whole package now. He's 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 just moved into number one. He's got the power off the tee, like no other, mm-hmm. or I'll just or like the like the, the the power of all the big boys. He's one of the big boys. He's great ball striking. His putting, I mean, look at those two putts on oh, yeah, 17 yeah. and 18 that he made. I mean, he just, he snatched that championship and uh, out of the hands of anyone else who even had it, he gave it a chance. So now with his putting ability, his driving ability, his ball striking, now his mindset, wow, he is, an, he is definitely the new number one. You touched on it at the start of this, but tell us what's going on at Predator Ridge. Well, we are, you, you know that we, we've got this new subdivision. It's called Field Glass. It's on the first fairway of the Ridge Course. So mm-hmm. if you want a tee time, give us a call. And, make, and if you want to uh, have a home up at Predator Ridge, make an appointment in the Real Estate Sales Center. I'll tell you all about it. Outstanding, Dick. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Always a pleasure. Thank you.